Hey guys, we do Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I want to show you our next storm system, and it's hitting California very hard right now. This is that major storm system with moderate to strong intensity atmospheric river contribution. So there's a lot of moisture with this thing just running right into California. Very heavy rain from Los Angeles all the way north to San Francisco now, and heavy snow for the Sierra from Tahoe all the way down to Mammoth. Mammoth will probably get the biggest grand totals out of all of this, but that is the next storm system. Let me take you over, over to my bullet points here. Here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So this current storm cycle will continue until 212, and then after that, I'm going to show you the jet high pressure starts to build in across the west. So that next storm hitting California very hard today and also tomorrow, 2-5. Then that storm breaks loose and moves into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, and New Mexico, 2-5 through 2-8 with very heavy snowfall. There's a smaller storm that will come in very quickly and almost mesh with this storm, 2-8, 2-9, and that rolls right through Utah, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico. And then there's that fast, weak storm system for the northern tier that's in now in the forecast. That's 2-10 through 2-12, and that'll spread snow from the Pacific Northwest to B.C., likely down through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, probably brushing Utah, and then kind of rolling down into Colorado as well. So we'll look at all that in this uh, forecast update. I want to take you back and show you water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon. There's that uh, powerful area of low pressure and extremely rich, rich flow right in there. Look at that orientation right up against the Sierra, um, lifting that air up, really just squeezing out a ton of, of rainfall at lower elevations and snow at higher elevations. Um, so behind it, what we have is another storm system, but this one is going to rotate up into Alaska and then eventually Canada, and it will send down some energy and help to create that, that northern tier storm very late in the forecast. Let me show you how all this plays out. So this is the, uh, the latest forecast radar and satellite. That's the current situation right now at about 5.30 p.m. Storm hitting California. Watch what happens tomorrow morning. Starts to send some moisture out into the interior. Here's two seven in the morning right here. Widespread snowfall, Tetons, Big Sky, Idaho, uh, Utah, and moving into western and southwest Colorado. Snow all the way down into parts of Arizona and New Mexico. Here's two seven in the afternoon. Widespread snow. You can almost see it. You see that additional energy kind of rotating down. That's that other that weaker, faster storm. It's going to kind of mesh with this storm over the Intermountain West, really keeping the snow widespread. There's two eight in the afternoon. Watch two nine. Here it comes. Rotates through Salt Lake down into the Four Corners, and it brings another round of snow through parts of Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. There it is on 210, moves away by 211. Here's that northern tier storm diving down from the Pacific Northwest, down through Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. And that's going to do it for the period. So there is still a lot of action on the board that has yet to fall uh, across the West. Here's the jet pattern. So this is 25 tomorrow. Powerful jet stream, subtropical jet just escorting a real moisture transport maximum here into California. And that would, of course, push all that moisture into the interior states as well. Here's the jet on 2-7, trough across the west, that big storm moving into Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona. And then that secondary, faster, weaker low will come down and almost mesh with that thing and keep the snow going. Here's the jet on 210. On 210, just the very final stage, that little trough right there sitting over Colorado and Utah, the whole thing then will move away by 211. That's the final right there. And you can kind of look to the north. You see up there in the Pacific Northwest, BC, there's a bit of a, a little bit of a dip right there in the jet. That's that fast, weak storm for the northern tier, 210 through 212. Let me take you even further down the road. So this is 213. At this point, you're looking at some high pressure ridging across definitely the west coast and parts of the interior with the jets starting to weaken and move away from Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. All right, let me show you the, the latest uh, snow numbers here. So by period, rest of today through tomorrow, it's mainly tomorrow, 2-5, where the snow hits the Wasatch and the Tetons, and we're looking for those um, looking for that kind of accumulation. I've got four to eight for um, the span of the Wasatch and potentially six to ten for the Tetons. And then the next period, two six through two nine is big. All of that moisture moves into the interior, plus you've got that other storm coming down, adding to the moisture content. Another foot for the Tetons, about a foot in Sun Valley, four to ten around Big Sky. 
I'm um, looking at anywhere from two to three feet for the Wasatch in that period alone, 2'6 through 2'9. About a foot for Brian Head, same for Snowball. Western and Southwest Colorado will get the most accumulation. You can see probably 8 to 16 for a lot of that. Uh, but potentially up to two feet down in the San Juans. A lot less accumulation on the Continental Divide in Summit County, looking for probably four to maybe eight inches. Uh, Loveland, Breck, Keystone, Winter Park, Eldora, A Basin, about four to eight for those areas. Okay, one more time period. This is 210 through 213. This captures the very last part of the storm system coming through Colorado, New Mexico, and exiting. And then it accounts for that northern tier storm coming out of B.C., dropping down through Montana, Wyoming, brushing Utah, and then rolling down into Colorado. So potentially during that time period, we add another three to maybe eight inches in parts of Colorado, four to six around the Tetons, and some decent additional snow around Taos, Angel Fire, and Ski Santa Fe. All right, one last stop up into the northeast, and things have shifted a bit here in this afternoon update from this morning. This morning, I had all that, that heavy belt of snow a little further to the south, away from the major ski areas. Now that has kind of shifted back, but I'll tell you, this is very late in the period. If we see this kind of heavy snow, it's like... 212 to 13. So that's a long way out and I'm sure it's going to shift around between now and then. All right guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. Thank you for tuning in here. I always appreciate it and take care.